Good evening, admirable aviators. Welcome to another video here on the Aviation Pro channel. Now, coming from prepared and from chase plane, one of the most annoying things about Microsoft Flight Simulator for me was uh, loading custom cameras and kind of, you know, loading them the chase plane way. The funny thing about Microsoft Flight Simulator is, is that uh, loading a custom camera is kind of annoying. You kind of have to push a button that you've set twice in order to really go to that view. So let me explain. For example, I'm here going to my custom camera that I've set for the first officer view and when I pan around in the cockpit, I can pan around a little bit, but uh, when I want to go back to the first officer view that I've set, I have to press the button twice because first it goes to this other random view and then only then it will go to the first officer view that I want. And if I keep pressing that button, it kind of switches back and forth between these different views, which is rather annoying. You just want to be able to switch back to your main view without having to press it twice. As you can see, I'm loading the custom camera number one that I've set for captain view, and it just kind of switches back and forth. All right. Now, a final way in Microsoft Flight Simulator to kind of solve this, at least for one custom camera, uh, which allows you to go back to that view and uh, load the custom camera and let it stay there. Because the way Chase Plane works, you would pan around and it would just um, you could click the button, it will go to that view, and it will stay on that view. But unfortunately, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, it doesn't really work that way. But I found a little trick that may help. All right, so let's take a look at the control options. That's where you have to go in order to achieve this. So I'm first going to show you just quickly how I set my custom cameras uh, here in keyboard section. Just just going to show them all. Um, if I go to cockpit camera. And as you can see, I uh, save my custom cameras using the right control and then the number on the numpad. For, so for example, number one uh, codes for my captain's view, three for first officer, five for FMC, eight for the overhead panel, kind of corresponding to the position in the cockpit in order to make it easy to navigate using the numpad. And then if I want to load that custom camera, I can press one of the numpad buttons. Now, if you want to set a button to load it the chase plane way, what you have to do is go to a joystick of your choice. For example, here I have the Logitech Xtreme 3D Pro next to me. And the way you have to do this, so I have the load custom camera number one function attached to joystick button number six, as you can see. And uh, it's going to do that on, on release, right? So make sure you set action type on release on loading that custom camera. Click validate. And what we're going to do is we're going to assign the same button to this function right here, reset cockpit view. And that's the only way it works. If you use either one of those, it's not going to work. You have to assign them both. All right. So joystick button number six, and then put that one on press. Okay. So this one on press and the uh, load custom camera on release. So as you can see, when I press this button right now, it goes for the same functions at the same time. And this will make it go to that view the chase plane way. It will just, no matter if you hit the button a thousand times, it will just go to that custom camera no matter what. Um, unfortunately, it only works from one custom camera, but at least you can do that for the main view that you're flying from. So for most people, that's of course the, the captain's view. I've tried to kind of also make use of the second slot right here using another custom camera, but unfortunately that doesn't work. Of course, what you can do is use another joystick for this um, uh, same feature. So for example, I have here the Alpha Flight Control Yoke. As you can see, I've set uh, button number three on the yoke on uh, loading custom camera number one on release, and then the same button on reset cockpit view on press. Okay, so whenever I hit that button, it goes for the same function at the same time. Okay, so let's take a look at what, what that looks like in the simulator. So we're back in the simulator, and as you can see, I'll just switch back and forth between the captain's and the first officer view. Um, now, uh, let's take a look what happens when we press the button on the joystick. So I'm panning around looking for traffic, or maybe I'm checking the overhead panel. I'm hitting the button and boom, it goes to the view. As you can see, it doesn't go anywhere else. You can hit it a thousand times. As you can hear in the background, maybe I'm hitting that button, but it will just stay in that view. It also, of course, works when you're uh, going to another custom camera, for example, the overhead panel. I hit the button, boom, it goes back there. And obviously this is very, very useful because uh, when you're busy on your approach, you may be looking for traffic outside, maybe you're flicking another switch on the overhead panel or the pedestal. You just want to have that one button in order to take you back to the view 
that you're flying from in any case, right? So this is really, really useful. From the external view, it also kind of works, as you can see right here. Um, in the external view, I'm just kind of looking at the aircraft. You still have to push the button at least twice, but at least you can hit it a couple of times to make sure you go to the view very quickly. So if I go hit the button once, as you can see, it goes to this random other view first. Uh, but when I press it again, it will go to my custom camera. And then when I press it another time, another few times, it will just stay there. So the most easy option is being in the external camera, just smash the button a couple of times. And you would easily go to that view that you've set. All right, so that's just a little tip. Um, I'm not sure if this tip is already out there. Uh, I just kind of found it by accident. It's really weird. I'm not sure why it works, but it works for at least one custom camera. And yeah, it just makes flying a lot easier because uh, let's face it, we're just looking around the cockpit a lot during critical phases of flight. But sometimes you just need to hit that button in order to go to a particular view right away. Okay, so I hope this tip and trick has helped you out or will help you out. Make sure to check out my review of the beautiful BMDG Boeing 737 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And uh, for now, take care and I will see you on the next one.